Go version of Mutton Tharkari is already published and few of you have requested for the recipe. And hence, I am making, rather I am recreating Bo's Mutton Tharkari. So let's get quickly started. Come on. Here I have around 600 grams of onion. I have taken two large size onion over here. Three potatoes which is chopped into half and of course we are gonna use mustard oil because if you are a udia you use mustard oil. Turmeric powder, chili powder, around three tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Now make a fresh uh, paste of ginger and garlic. The store bought one doesn't taste the same like the fresh one. Heat around 7 to 8 tablespoons of mustard oil in a pressure cooker. Once the oil is hot, let's fry our potatoes first. Onions have started to turn brown now. In goes chili powder as per your preference and a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now give it a good mix. Allow it to cook for a minute now. It's been a minute now. In goes chopped tomato. Now give it a mix once again and allow it to cook until the tomatoes are soft. It's been three minutes now and the tomato has started to soften. Time to add the ginger garlic paste to it. Next to this goes half teaspoon of garam masala powder, salt to taste and the mutton masala powder. We're gonna add around a teaspoon of mutton masala powder. Now give it a good mix. Now to stop the masala sticking to the bottom of the pan, add around 2 tablespoons of water to it. Give it a good mix and cook it until the masala is well cooked and it starts to ooze out oil from it. I have cooked my masala for almost 15 minutes now. This is now well cooked. It has started oozing out oil from it and the raw flavor of ginger and garlic is already gone. I can get the nice aroma out of it. I did give it occasional stir and added around a tablespoon of water once again just to ensure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the cooker. Now my masala is well cooked and it's time to add the mutton to it. Here goes my mutton. Now give it a good mix so that the mutton can be well coated with all this masala.
the mutton and the masala are mixed well now I'm gonna allow it to cook like this for next five minutes on high heat do give it an occasional stir so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the cooker it's been five minutes now I'm gonna give it a good mix once again and allow it to cook like this for the next five minutes it's been 10 minutes in total since I'm cooking the mutton along with these masalas now is the time to add around one cup of water to it and we are gonna cook it until it dries up that's what mom does she does add water three times and cook it until it dries up that's the first time I'm adding water once it dries up I'm gonna add water once again and then repeat it once again cook it on high It's been 25 minutes now since I'm cooking it and the water has already dried up as you can see. Now give it a good mix, add water, cook it once again until the water dries up and repeat the same process once again. It's gonna take in total one half hour for each time you add water to it. It takes around 25 to 30 minutes to cook. Another 25 minutes and look at this, it has again dried up. I'll give it a mix once again you need to keep giving it a occasional stir so that it doesn't stick to the bottom time to add water for the last time here it goes a good mix again and we are gonna allow it to cook like this until the water dries up it's gonna again take around 25 to 30 minutes. The longer you'll cook like this, the tastier it becomes. It's like directly proportional to time. I mean the taste is directly proportional to time. You see, such a simple equation. Another 30 minutes and look at this. The water has already dried up. The bone is falling apart from the meat. Look at this. And the mutton is cooked through now give it a good mix now is the time to add this fried potatoes Time to open the cooker and check our mutton tarkari. Look at that. Our mutton curry is ready now. Time to add this garam masala powder. Let's add it on top. Now give it a mix once again. And look at this. Odia style mutton tarkari is ready to serve now. My mutton tarkari is ready. I have friends coming over so I'm gonna enjoy my mutton tarkari with them. But what's wrong in doing a little cheating and enjoying a little like one piece before they come. You see how they are falling apart.
out and let me know if you like it or not. See ya. Bye-bye.